Well, y'all, I thought as long as I was here, I would show you what we're actually doing, the kind of overview here of what we're doing. You can probably hear the wind coming up a little bit now, but I just have taken that portion of the paint off of this little uh, four inch stripe right here. And you can see I kind of painted that one a couple of days ago just to preserve it. And again, this is gonna be that way until we come back and do the final coating. And then of course that will be uh, sanded back down and uh, we'll come back and paint that stripe. And I think we're gonna end up painting it black. We kind of like that. So again, but from the old, oh, what was that? That was the old furnace. No, what was that there? That was the old water. No, that's a refrigerator. That's a refrigerator behind that panel. So from there, oh, let's see, all the way down to the back window, I still have to do. Wow. And uh, today or tomorrow, I'm probably going to get up here and cut the sides in with this, this Countryman silicone. And uh, speaking with Klaus, the guy from the Countryman silicone top coating, and he said, I can paint this all the way down to about 30 degrees, so just at freezing. So again, I'll probably come back and cut the sides in, do a little bit on top of the roof also, just to kind of overlap it up there, and then come back and start painting and painting and painting and painting and get this roof painted while it's still, uh, still warm enough to do it. It's really amazing. This side of the bus, which is on the sun side, is really warm, even warm to the touch. And yeah, so it's, it can be painted easily but you get to the shadowed shaded side of the bus and it drops probably 25 degrees over there it's uh you know it's not summertime anymore ralph anyway that's what i'm doing today just going to keep prepping and keep prepping and keep prepping until i can get something done here and then uh, get on to the next project of the brian's bus adventure and today what i'm doing is playing leonardo da vinci Yep, I'm taking my chisel, I'm taking my hammer, and I am chiseling out all of this paint. And you can see it just comes right on out. And it's thicker than you know what. But what I'm going to end up doing temporarily is just painting this black along this stripe right here between here and here. And just kind of do something temporary until I can get some really decent paint in there. But it's just peeling off. And again, that's just because somebody didn't take their time and prime right and prep right. And that's what I'm going to have to do now. You can see all of this is bubbling up here. All of it's coming off in sheets. So, you know, that's just the way it is. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today on the Brian's Bus Adventure. Tell me if you like that or not. Give me a comment. Do you like that black stripe on there? Uh, you know, if it is, I may come back and really do it correctly. Sand it and paint it all up with some really nice paint. That's that's just a rattle can there. I thought uh, black stripe was going to look good. Because this is going to end up being gray. The entire painted area will be a uh, gray uh, type of paint. And uh, will be no stripes. It's just going to be the stainless steel down here. Gray, a black stripe, then gray. And then the white roof up on top. But see all that up there where it's just really crappy? That's because of very, very poor prepping on somebody's part. But we'll see what happens. Well, hello, y'all. Back again here with the Brian's Bus Adventure. Yeah, I'm still doing, still doing the same thing here. But what I've done, I've taken all of the paint off from this line right here, as you can see. And I've also taken some of this gel. This is called uh, Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver Gel Formula. And it said it works in about 30 minutes. And I've uh, just taken a paper towel, let's take a paper towel, and kind of squirted it on that paper towel. And it smeared it all over the rusted area. And you can see it's already turning it black. And what it's doing is neutralizing, yeah, neutralizing that rust. So I'll be able to paint over it. Again, this is just going to be a protective coating that I'm going to put over it. So later, when we can do the final paint job on this thing, it will not be rusty again. So again, just kind of bear with me as we do temporary steps to get permanent things done. Well, wow, that sounded right, didn't it? Anyway, this is what we're doing today on the Brian's Bus Adventure. Well, I just thought as long as I was showing you what I'm doing, uh, again, this is the front part that we've done here behind the ladder up to that uh, big D window and coming back here, back here, back here. And this is the uh, vent for the old furnace and the vent for the old, um, let's see, what was it? Water heater. There's a water heater in there and a the furnace is in there. 
and this is for the refrigerator of course but from the refrigerator oh, all the way back to the bedroom window yeah still have to do all that and then I'm going to come back and then of course replace this oh man just <laughs> just keeps going doesn't it anyway that's what we're going to be doing this uh that's the next schedule part and then I spoke with Kurt oh, excuse me Klaus up at Country Man uh silicone siding and he said that I can paint this silicone top coat on here the top coat meaning the top of the roof on down to 30 degrees so I'm going to be getting up my scaffolding and I'm going to be cutting this part in right here real quickly so again I'll be doing uh, probably down to that seam right there and maybe all the way down to that front D window today or tomorrow and before it starts raining again just cut the sides in and then after the sides are all cut in I'm gonna come back of course and do the remainder of the top yeah yeah that's what we're doing Okay, the next thing we're supposed to do here, after it's set on there for a while, it says don't let it dry completely on there, so that's what I'm doing, is I've gone and got myself a bucket of water, and that's what it says to do next, is to go ahead and take some water and get the excess uh, off. So that's what I'm going to do next, going to take my little old paddle here. Uh, this is what I used to wash my cars. You think it's going to be any good after I'm done? Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Anyway, I'm going to get up here and just kind of wash this down a little bit it's really kind of soapy like stuff and again gonna see if i can get the majority of it off i'll do this a couple of times and man am i reaching now oh boy reaching reaching for the stars here i think i can get all of it there yeah yep got it got it got it got it got it i think that's all i have to do right there I'm gonna put that like that then I'm gonna come back let it dry for a while and you'd think that that would activate the rust again but they say it doesn't once it's been neutralized it's pretty well neutralized so again that's all I'm gonna do there probably gonna take a couple of my towels here and just kind of wipe it off to see if I could expedite the drying process a little bit and then I'll come back with that uh, black paint again and uh, I'll primer it first I think yeah, nah, I don't think I'll do that because I'm going to be, end up taking that black paint off anyway. So I'll just come back, mask this off so it doesn't get overspray everywhere. See a little overspray up there that I did the other day. Not too worried because we're going to paint the entire bus, but uh, I don't want it to look too bad, even though it looks bad. <laughs> anyway, this is what we're doing. And next I'll be drying it off and then I'll be spray painting it. So stick around. Okay, after wiping it off, it still looks like there's a little bit of red rust. Uh, the, I guess you'd call it the oxidization of whatever you call this stuff. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, reapply that one more time before I paint it. And uh, let's see if we can get the rest of that rust out. I think it should be pretty well black, like this is over here. That's pretty well black there. And so I'm going to give it another coat and let it set for a few more minutes and then come back and wash it off. Okay, y'all, just want to kind of show you what we have done. Well, not what we've all done today, but I did finish the front portion of this black stripe that's going to be on the bus. And that bus, that stripe on the bus will end up being all the way from there to the back of the bus. Mm -hmm. It's going to go all the way. So what I have yet to do, of course, is from that bedroom window, that stripe, that four, three or four inch stripe, gonna have to take all of that paint off all the way up to here where the refrigerator vent is. That's gonna take, that'll take about four or five hours, believe it or not, just to get that off. But uh, that's what I'm gonna have to do to get that painted. And for everybody that doesn't know, all these stripes are coming off. We're going to go kind of a plain Jane. I don't want to say that's going to look really nice. Going to have the white top, which I did today. Did that up there, and that is the um, ceiling paint, as in not in C E I L, but as in S E E L S E A L S E L E seal. Anyway, when you seal something up, S E A L. Okay, yeah, ceiling paint. <laughs> Yeah, that is also a reflective paint for white, of course. But again, this will be gray, and this will be gray. This will end up being black. 
And then we'll have some accents in black also here at the front of the bus. I think it's going to look really nice. This spear is going to be, of course, polished up really nicely. And behind it, that accent will be black on that door. As well as coming around to the front of the bus, this is going to be all painted black, of course, and that's behind the bumper. It's going to be kind of an extension of this right here. You can see how that spear is fairly well painted, would have the, but it does have that black accent behind that, below it and behind it, whatever you would call it. But anyway, that's kind of what's happening in the future. And like we say, one thing at a time, because this is the Brian's Bus Adventure. And um, gosh, we hope you all like it. If you like it, of course, you can go ahead and like it, share it, and subscribe to it. And if you really like it, you can go ahead and complain or tell us what you think we're doing right, wrong, or whatever you would like to see us do next. And then, of course, you can get on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Brian's Bus Adventure. And you can donate a couple bucks a month. And uh, it will really help us out if you do that. So, again, there's a lot of things that need to be done. We've done a lot. But we're kind of getting down to what I feel is some of the very big things that's going to be done for the bus. It's taken a lot of time to prep. And one of them, of course, is this roof. And the other one will be the paint on the outside. And getting all this old paint off is going to be, wow, what a hassle. But it has to be done because all this non-professional stuff that was done to the bus back in 99 has to be repaired, fixed, uh, gone over, whatever you want to call it. And uh, get all that rust out of this bus and then put it back on the road. So again, that's what we're doing. And this is this edition of the Brian's Bus Adventure.